The mustaches I thought had to go away at the end of November, so what's going on? Uh, it was just something I thought I'd try. <laughs> Why not? Um, Coach Harson told me they're coming back, so. Yeah, has the reception been good? What? Has the reception been good for it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've got some good feedback. Um, I've also got some bad feedback, so I think it's got to go pretty soon. <laughs> what's uh, you know, what's kind of, you know, we, we've talked to you, you know, going into the season, and you broke the record and stuff like that. What has this season been like for, for you? Um, honestly, this season's been, it's been a pretty fun season. You know, we've had a lot of wins, had two pretty critical losses, but at the end of the day, you know, it's a 10-win season, so, and we have a chance to, to win our bowl game still. How would you kind of, you know, you have been asking some of the guys, how would you assess the regular season? Because I think this, you know, going into this year, you guys talked about 2015 being a disappointment. And I don't know if that was just because of the home losses or what, but why was maybe this year different than last year? I think this year was a little bit different because of all the work that we put in before the season and even during the season. Um, I've never been a part of a team that's worked that hard and, and that's put in so much effort. So, you know, to, to give something all you have and still maybe come up short of our goal, it's still disappointing, but you gave it all you have. The last two years, the team really played well in both bowl games, Arizona and the game last year against Northern Illinois. What can you take from those games and the success you had to this one? Um, I would say just how we prepared and all this extra time we have leading up to it. Um, you know, Coach Pitt does a great job of making sure we're in shape and, and you know, we're starting to get stronger again from the, from the season and, and um, you know, our preparation is pretty key. You would seem to be a candidate to play in one of those all-star games whatever after the season. Have you, have you heard from anybody? Is there anything, are you going to do any of those games you know of yet? Or uh, like... I don't know of any yet, so I haven't heard from any. Okay. Anybody. With that, you haven't haven't said with you this season. You know, how much how much has that you know been to your benefit, or you know what what has that been like having an, another guy? I mean, it's the first time BC's had two thousand receivers the same year. Yeah, you know, Sed's a great asset to the whole offense, and and you know he's a huge deep threat for us, and that opens up our run game. It opens me up, and and obviously he does a great job of just catching the ball no matter you know what situation he's in. So you know, without him, you know, it's a lot of less yards. With, with Jeremy, obviously he's gonna have a decision to make at some point. So what, how fun has it been, I guess, to, to see Jeremy what he's done the last two years, really, but really the, this year what he's done, you know, uh, playing alongside him. It's been a lot of fun. Um, you know, it's pretty cool to watch him, and it's been, you know, obviously a great time playing with him. Um, you know, I don't know what his decision is, and, and whatever it is, you know, all of us are supporting him 100%. He's one of the hardest working guys, you know, on the team. So, you know, he deserve any deserves anything that comes his way. What's you know, what's what has what have you noticed differently maybe from him this year you know from last year how how is he different because it does seem like he's there's a lot of ways but to you what stands out the most uh, I would say you know the way he's reading the holes and and he's really finishing his runs good I think um, you know he, he's getting those extra two or three yards he needs and and you know when I come in and get the safety or a set or Chaz uh, he does a good job of cutting off off us and uh, that's kind of how a lot of his big runs have came this year, just reading the box. You know, you, you had to step in for a guy like Matt Miller, who was tremendously <laughs> productive, and, and he had to take over for a guy like Jay Ajay, who had you know, one of the most, uh, I don't know, dynamic seasons in, in really college football history. I mean, uh, impressed with how, you know his ability to handle those expectations and for the most part live up to them as well. Yeah, very impressive. Um, obviously, Jay was an amazing running back, and, and it felt like you know he filled his shoes completely. and. You know, that's kind of what we talk about when, when someone leaves. It's all up to the next guy carrying the flag. And, you know, he carried it and ran with it. What was the first thing you thought of when you heard you guys were playing against Baylor? Uh, I was excited. I think we all were. Um, I'm, you know, very pumped up for it and, and it should be a good matchup. You know, those, those guys compete. What do you want to see out of the offense in the game? Because Baylor scores, so you guys are going to probably have to score a lot to win the game. Yeah, we got to put up some numbers. Um, you know, I, we're pretty confident in that. and. and you know, as long as this preparation for this bowl week goes well, um, we should be fine. Said was playing, they play a lot of zero and stuff, kind of like <coughs> New Mexico and some schools did. I mean, have, you, have you seen that? And, and I, I guess safe to say you would welcome that challenge, uh, uh, you know, in the bowl game. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, they're base cover four team, so that still leads to one-on-one -on -one matchups too. But their, D, their DBs do a good job of, of rerouting, and, and they're fast. So, you know, it should be a good uh, competition for us. How have you seen, uh, you know, Brett kind of continue to mature? And you know, when it comes to Boise State, you know, the the, uh, the standard here is, is what probably attracts you guys in recruiting. But then, you know, kind of being a part of that standard, trying to live up to it, is is obviously another whole whole another challenge and responsibility. Yeah, Brett's definitely matured a lot. Um, I just did another interview in there, and we were kind of talking about it. But 
you know, seeing him from the beginning of the season and even last year to, to right now, it's just like he's a whole other person. And it's not like he wasn't good enough to begin with. He's just making huge strides, and uh, it's really impressive to watch. So where is he better? Um, I would say just his command over the whole offense. Um, he's kind of keeping everyone on the offense to a certain standard, and, and you know, being a sophomore, it's very, you know, impressive, like I said before. And he's just uh, reading the defense, and the way he checks out of his plays as he reads the defense, it's, it's uh, pretty neat to watch. Maybe there's going to be a day where it, where it sinks in even more, but, I mean, have you had any time to kind of look at your career at, at all and maybe what stands out the most to you? I mean, 3,300 receiving yards is a lot of, a lot of yards. <laughs> yeah, I haven't looked too much into it yet, so uh, maybe after the bowl game I will. How is, how is Brett different? I mean, personality-wise, you mentioned it a little bit, but obviously, he's he said his roles maybe changed a little bit. He hasn't had to throw as much and all that stuff. How is you know you mentioned you mentioned a little bit, but how is how is he just different? Uh, he's a guy that you know whatever his role is going to be, he's going to accept it and be the best at it. And um, you know whether that's throwing more balls or, or not throwing as many, uh, it doesn't matter. Whatever's going to help the team. I mean, you guys.